Hello everyone, greetings from PayTap's technical support team. In this series, we are going to learn everything you need to integrate PayTap's Laravel package into your Laravel project. Throughout the series, we will walk you through the 7 steps you need to fully understand and integrate the package. Now let's move to step 5 of the integration manual, which is handling the payment response. Before we start, please note that you can find the full documentation for this step inside PayTap's support portal under the article called the Laravel Package Integration Manual. So let's get started. In this step, we are going to learn how we can handle the payment response which is sent from PayTaps after the payment. Handling this response will empower you to make sure you can handle the user experience according to the payment status. So for example, you can use this response to update an order status inside your database. So let's walk through it. Actually, it's a very simple process. All what you need to do is to use the return URL we have created in the previous step and the configuration level where we created inside the method called send URLs. So if we remember, here when we created the send URLs, we said that the return URL will be used to redirect your customer to a certain URL after the payment is completed. So, very simply, if we have created a, a return URL, it will redirect the customer to this URL, but it will provide the transaction basic details inside the URL so you can then use it. But note that if you didn't use a secure URL, these transaction details will not be sent inside the URL. So, in order to test this process, we are going to make a webhook URL from here, because it's a secure one, and we are going to use it inside our return URL over here. As you can see, we have passed it inside the return variable, and here we just call the return variable inside the send URLs. So, once you have initiated your payment from any checkout base like here, you will see that the payment will be sent notification to the return URL here containing the data from the transaction you have just created. And now, we can move to step 6 of the integration manual. 